After uh, seeing the video that I just made uh, of how to prepare the area that you're going to put tile on, uh, there are some things, some, some tips that I'm going to give you to put tiles. First, if you look at another video that I have of how to mix the, the, the concrete or the thin set cement, we already have the thin set cement over here. It's a nice viscosity thing that you need to use a drill with and mix it up with a hand normally it doesn't mix evenly. But uh, we have an area, we are working in a kitchen. Uh, we decided to leave the refrigerator and the uh, stove area without any material yet because they're using it and they need some access. So I left some of the space for them to walk. Uh, I don't want to restrain the people with the entire family from use, using a section of the kitchen. You know, in fact, I want to finish a section of the, of, of, the, of the kitchen first so we can move this and keep the, the house you know, moving like a bad list, a regular house. So we'll do it later. I'll show you later on. But now we have to decide how to lay down the, the tile. Uh, in this case, I'm using this massive 18, 18 by 18 tile. I got it at Lowe's, really, really nice, you know, porcelain stuff. And what you want to think about is, is how, how your area is more exposed. And, and with this, I mean, um, what parts of your, in this case, your kitchen, of your living room, room, whatever, then, some room, is more exposed to the, to the ice. And that's where you need to go and, and start your bigger pieces. A lot of people will say, well, you want to split it in the middle and have a, a section over here, a section over there. And that's truly the truth when, when you have a small, tiny little pieces obvious in one place. So in other words, if your entire room is going to be exposed, yes, you want to consider having the, the same, you know, equality, uh, equidistance in between, you know, the, the, the walls. In this case, we have a lot of little corners, cabinets, appliances. So you want to make sure that your tiles are starting in, in, an, in an area that, that are more obvious. So your full pieces of your nice pieces. So in this case, we are going to put an extagger type of uh, design on the floor. That means that since this is a hallway to go to the living room, right now is the one that is going to be exposed constantly, right? So I measured, pre-measured already, the spaces in between the tiles. These are about three sixteenths of an inch. I'll be, I will be using spacers to put the tile down. So I already set up the space, made the space for three tiles. So, uh, so I'm going to start at the fourth tile. I'm going to start with full pieces, and then the next one will be starting with a half piece, full piece, half piece. So it will be like a brick type of pattern, right? So you measure that, you measure from, from an obvious wall in that case, that is the obvious wall. So I measure the same distance over there, the same distance over there, mark it down with a, with a wood. I use a, a five feet long level that I have, so I made a line on the floor. I don't know if you're able to notice it. But that is there. So that's how you start it. The next thing that you want to do is to start with the, the tile installation. And I'm going to show you, if you come closer, I want to show you how to, to put the tile down. So keep in mind that since these tiles are a little, a little you know, bigger than normal, you want to make sure that you just work at least in just one line of tile because again it's going to take too long it's going to break your back trying to 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 install tile far away so i'm going to you know add some of the cement that i already mixed this is mixed and remixed again so put some on the floor don't get too crazy trying to pick little bits at a time this will allow you to put an even surface off with the area that has no teeth you want to spread this thing, um, you know, as much as you can. Try to cover all the surfaces. Don't cover the line that you just made to make sure that you maintain a nice straight pattern. So I'm just covering this right now. Make sure that it's here, right? And working with like a 45 degree angle, you want to spread, or just remove the, the cement excess and put it on one side. Clean the, the excess. 
X's at the end of the, of the lines, so you can continue in a moment. No, previously you need to make sure that your floor is kind of level. Try to level it up with whatever you can. And like I said before, add a nice concrete surface, put some tape in between, add a little bit of thin cement to hold it together. That will ensure the longevity of your tiles. So now, I'm in the process of putting the tile together, so I'm gonna get just two or three more. Now, the whole important thing over here with that, I'm using a 3 8 of an inch by one quarter of an inch trowel uh, because it allows you to, to play with these this, um, surfaces. The reason that has some grooves is that when you put it down, you're able to, to move the tiles and, and, and adjust accordingly because obviously sometimes the floors, especially in old houses, kind of bumpy and stuff. So you want to make sure that, that you have room to play with. So here it is. The first piece is going to go by the line. Keep that line. Remember over here it's going to be covered with moldings. Or shoe molding in the case of a lot of houses that already have house, I mean moldings. We're going to leave a quarter of an inch, I mean uh, three sixteenths of an inch. When you put it down, you can adjust it. Now, it sounds funny, but sometimes Tiles are a little bigger than others, you know, I mean, I was breaking my, my head one day thinking like, well, I'm not aligning, so just make sure that, I mean, when you're putting tiles, sometimes they are a little longer on one side than the other, maybe manufacturing errors or whatever, maybe you want to remove them, but, you know, don't, don't be surprised if you see like one that is a bit, I mean, I'm talking about just tiny little bits of space. So now we have 3 sixteenths of an inch over here, and we move to the next one. As you can tell, these tiles are pretty big, they cover a lot of areas. And that's how you, you, um, uh, you know, put your tiles together. If one tile in one corner is a little bit lower, you want to take it out, you just take a little spatula, take it out, put a little more extra in that area, you know, just make sure that you have your, your area nice and straight. Put a little bit more, take a little bit out, put it back again, just make sure that all the entire surface is covered with um, cement. And in this case, with fortified, polymer fortified thin set cement. Okay, so I hope that is helpful for you. Um, just, just to let you know, this will be the next one that is coming up. They're already cut in half with a diamond web saw. And this one will come over here. We'll buy the same rules. But now we will have sections to stagger. Okay? So thank you and thank you for watching your video. Bye bye.